Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my 100% walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to finish up the Cabot House questline. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get started, let's go and put two levels in. I did gain a level off screen. I was helping a few settlements out and I gained enough experience to get a level. Maria let's go talk to charge. Maria. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh, you're the new guy. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. Thanks for your help. Sure thing. Hey, be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. Let's pull out our weapon. We're going to, before we go to Parsons Creamery, we're going to make a pit stop at Lynn Woods. We're going to make a left here in just a second. Just keep walking up this way. Circle around the fallen tree. Cut through the debris. We don't need a crouch yet, but once we get in this uh, shack here, we will crouch. If you want, you can lockpick that steamer trunk. I'm not going to bother with it. Come on, dog meat. Get out the way. Excellent. Here's a wasteland survival guide. This is going to be the last thing uh, we get for settlement decorations and upgrades and stuff. Be careful. Raiders are going to spawn. Just a heads up as well, there is going to be a bit of fast traveling in today's episode. I'll try to keep it to a minimum, but we just have so much to do and it's such a long distance. And it's not that we really have that much to do, it's just they're far apart and it's not worth walking through places we've already been. So I'm just going to fast travel. Hopefully that doesn't bother anybody. If it does, I apologize. Let's crouch. There's usually um, an ambush over here of some sort. Right here is the courier, by the way, that they were talking about was killed trying to deliver the serum. We're going to continue to stay crouched. This is Parsons Creamery. I'm getting tired of your bullshit. Oh. 
I don't think that guy died up there. He did not. That other raider was in the way, that's why. Nah, I'm not gonna bother looting that raider. Let's go to the Yangzi, I think it's pronounced before we go back to the Cabot house. I'll see everybody there. Let's put some rad, or not rad away. I keep saying rad away. Let's put some rad X on. Go inside. You have dampening coil? Ah, Yoshu, Yoshu. Now. Ah to get nuclear fuel. I'm ready. The next step seems simple, but do not be deceived. 200 years ago, I launched all of Yangtze's high-yield nuclear missiles, as ordered. For 200 years, I have lived with that guilt, that shame. So much fire, such bay, but one missile failed to launch. You must go down. Remove the warhead. Then bring it to me. I'm on it. I admire your spirit. While you are getting warhead, I will prepare the reactor. But now I must warn you. There is danger. We shall. Old crew. Still down there. Not okay like their captain. Worse. They do not harm me, but they will kill you. I... I cannot kill them. Still, they are my crew. My family. Jaren. All of us. But you must do what you must do. Let's go downstairs. Open up the bulkhead terminal. Crouch again. I said open up the bulkhead terminal. I meant go into the bulkhead terminal. Take out that ghoul there. In there. We have a level. We'll put a level in in just a second here. Let's go ahead and put that level in. There's our last level into toughness, and I think our next skill is going to be ninja. Take that ghoul out. If we come around here. There's some more ghouls. Another one right there. There's quite a few ghouls in here. We don't have to take them all out. Just a good majority. There's one coming up the stairs, I think. No, he's over there. I don't know. Oh, there he is. Jeez. Dog meat. Quit opening doors, sir. I just wanted to take that guy out. Then we have the first mate. Stay away from that side. Get the ICBM. Let's 
we shouldn't have to worry about the rest of the crew. Sorry, I thought there was a ghoul over there. My eyes are playing tricks on me. Oh, we're going to want some more Radex here. Here is the warhead. No difficulty with the warhead, I trust. I'm alive, aren't I? Be resolved. And the thing is done. Now, here is what you must do. Head down to the reactor. Take dampening coil and warhead with you. First, insert the dampening coil. Carefully. Xiaoxin. Then... Put warhead into the reactor. As you do that, I monitor power levels from the control room. Do not put warhead in first. Do that? Si Wang. Death for you and me both. Pretty easy. I don't know why you said to head down, because it's right here. Talk to Zhao. Zhao. Was not sure my beautiful Yangzi would hold together. But we did it. Here, payment Zhao promised you. Plus, to show my thanks, I give you these uh, uh, transponders. Each one acts as a homing signal for missile I can fire from my Yangzi. Only small, tactical nukes. But you should still get as far away as possible. Throw transponder like a grenade to activate it. Then wait for Baoza. Kaboom. I wish you a safe journey. Many thanks. I look forward to seeing my Chungguo soon. Soon I will set sail. You should get ashore. Farewell, American. I must admit, I have met worse capitalists. And we finish the quest, here there be monsters. Let's get out of here. And then we're going to head to Cabot House. Let's open up the Pip-Boy. And then we're going to go to the Cabot House. I'll see everybody there. We're going to crouch. And take some rat away. Dog meat, can you get the hell up out of the way? Thanks. Not acceptable. Imogene is missing and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your mean... Your sister is missing and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not a... Mother, Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. I can't bear to think what might be happening to Imogene right now. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? So did you find out what happened to the courier? Some I raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm, I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. She's a grown woman. She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. I can't bear to think what might be happening to Imogene right now. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? 
You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Okay, I'll start in Good Neighbor. Let's head over to Good Neighbor and figure out where Imogene is. I know where she's at, but nah, I like to play along with the quest. Let's crouch and then go outside. We're going to fast travel to Good Neighbor. I know we could have uh, walked to Good Neighbor, but fast traveling is, well, faster. Let's go inside the third rail. Enjoy your stay. Smell that? That's freedom. My client appreciates the work you did with his rat problem. Now, if you're buying, let's hear what you want. Yo, do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! This guy wants a word! Excuse me, miss. Why, hello. Did you like the song? I love the song. It was perfect. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. It's your eyes. Quick and intense. I bet you never miss a detail, hmm? <laughs> you like what you see? So what brings a man like you to my part of town? Oh, I woke up here. Just me, my underwear, and regret. <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a great song. I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Are you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Oh, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane... She latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam! Would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that... Preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Hmm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. 
I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. You're blocking my light, man. Let's head out of the third rail. We're going to walk to the amphitheater, but let's crouch and then we'll head out to the financial district. We're going to hang a left up here. And then we're going to come around this building and hang a right. We can stand up now. If you want to check out the Volt Tech Regional HQ or headquarters, um, feel free. Some interesting lore in that building. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm looking for Emmajine Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emmajine is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Uh, her family's worried about her. You can tell them that she's fine. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Look, the truth is, we had a little uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Uh, I've got to you warn you. To change your she's life way today. stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her locked up in there. She's all yours, neighbor. We don't have anything to talk about. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent you. You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit... younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raiders got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. 
He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Your boyfriend Thomas was a real charmer. I was done with him. And he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. I know we could walk to the Cabot house, but we're just going to fast travel. We've been doing it most of the episode anyways, so why not? Are you there? Are you reading me, Jack? You can't hold me. Damn, the signal is strangely weak. Edward, switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Gee, now. How's this? Oh, <laughs> that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... For God's sake, Sammy. The doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Let's go. Good. I'll explain on the way. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And try not to hurt him. I love Father at least as much as you do. But you know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't let it come to that, please. I'll do my best, Mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. We're gonna go upstairs real fast before we help Jack out. We're going to grab this magazine. Bingo. Now we'll head out. And we're going to, again, fast travel to Parsons State Insane Asylum. Ready? Let's go. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Normally, you would follow him 
all the way there instead of fast traveling. But this gonna be worth the trouble. I Look just didn't feel place. like listening to Look his banter. Oh, it's really not important. Right. If lefties right. Time to reel them in. Hmm? Nothing there now. What do you think? I don't know. I'm jumping in shadows. Yeah, you're probably right. Gotta cut down on the jet, I guess. Now don't start talking crazy. Hey! <laughs> 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 Just kind of go through here and kill everybody. It's pretty linear. No need to hide. You're mine this now, This is my rookie. property. Ah. You are trespassing. Jack Cabot is actually a tough some bitch. Just saying. No, I didn't want rad roach meat. are you hurt? I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I I sent the elevator down to the basement like you wanted and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. <sighs> Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think it's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past... It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. Got it. Let's go. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine. Be careful, Jack. You too. Yes. Now we got the Charisma bobblehead. We don't have to level up Charisma anymore. It's max level. There. Disarm that mine, or else Jack's gonna step on it, and that's no fun. find a way like through tells us that utility elevator is on the bottom floor come on yeah not exactly what? a pushover that we were promised oh. Damn. <laughs> keep your eyes open i think this asshole uses it
Disappearing at huh? Just a heads up for everybody. This quest, like many, can be a little glitchy. Usually when you have to have an escort quest like this, sometimes the NPCs don't want to do what they're supposed to do. I'm invincible. Where is Jack going? Shit. Lost her. I don't know what he's doing. We have to go this way, though. No sign of him now. No light. Hey, hey, Just go eat. I'm starving. You can eat when I ah, get someone's out there. Pray for that. I'll find you. Here, ain't. Ah! When you turn up, you're dead. Give up now, I'll make it. Ah! Oh, wait. Ah! Oh. Did not see them there. Oops. <laughs> Got in the way, Jack. Hopefully he gets up soon. Good. The old utility elevator is still working. This will take us to the basement. There's not really much to say in this part. It, like I said, it's pretty linear. Um, Jack talks a lot. That's why I'm kind of quiet right now. Basement. Kill everyone you see. Don't hesitate. We can't let them release Lorenzo. Someone there? Assholes upstairs, and they still can't stop these clowns from barging in here. Come on, damn you, get that door open. Those idiots are trying to shut down the Abremelin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I'll be happy to teach you too. You know I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see. Lucifer's balls. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. God damn it. I'm gonna break your skull open if you don't have this door down in 10 seconds. Your men upstairs don't seem to have been of much use. That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order I'm to open the I'm opening the main door. door. Hurry! Shit, they're almost The Abrelin field Get is that down! Door open! Shit. Oh, that's it. I can that's feel my strength it. returning. Oh! No. No. I will finally be free! There's still one chance. I just need a moment to enter the failsafe codes. <gasps> Hurry! Ah! It won't be long before nothing can hold him. It's not too late. It will take some time for him to regain his powers. We still have a chance to stop him. Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. 
Switch the four Abremelin generators to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door and let me out. Yes! Now set the other three generators and I can end this. Please, just open the door. That's it! Don't worry, the Zeta radiation won't harm you. I'm sorry, Father. I did everything I could to avoid this. I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the artifact. Liar! You would have fed upon me here forever if you'd had your way. Puny worm. <laughs> Do you truly think you have the power to destroy me? Good... Goodbye, Father. Let's go inside. We're gonna pick up the Massachusetts Bingo. Surgical Journal. And we're gonna take uh, Lorenzo's suit. Because we're horrible people. Let's go uh, talk to... Well, you all might not be horrible, but I am. <laughs> Robbing a dead guy. Let's go talk to Lorenzo now. <clears throat> we didn't have any other choice, did we? I said Lorenzo. I meant Jack. Sorry. It was the only option left. I hope you're right. I think this time I really was close to finding a way to cure him. His crimes, back when he was free... It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No, I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. I'm sorry about Lorenzo. Thank you. I appreciate that. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. Great. Thanks. One more thing. I've done so much research on the artifact. I may be able to do something with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. So if you want to, um, you can head back in a week and he'll give you a pretty sweet gun let's take the elevator up Let's head out the building here. We'll end the video here. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be. And you're part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.